Well, turning to news this afternoon, the driver of a golf cart involved in a deadly Sarpy County accident appeared in court this morning. Cody Debinski is accused of motor vehicle homicide and careless driving after Pat Jurgensen fell off the back of the cart and later died. KMTV Action 3 News reporter Andrea Flores is live from the Sarpy County Courthouse with the story. Andrea. Well, good afternoon to you both. It's being called a freak accident by both the defense and prosecutors. But the big question now is how did riding on the back of a golf cart only going less than five miles per hour kill Jurgensen and could it have been prevented? Today, both sides uh, presented evidence that was agreed upon by both the defense and prosecution showing that the accident was unintentional. But prosecutors say the decision by Dembinski to drive a two person golf cart with five grown men along with no seatbelt and rear view mirrors is considered criminal and careless. But the defense says it was an unfortunate accident and nothing more. They presented evidence that revealed Jurgensen was standing on the back of the golf cart only 10 inches off the ground and that Dembinski made a wide turn as a precaution to make sure no one fell off the back. They were all friends. There's no obvious um, very disturbing violation, such as like running a red light or being a drunk driver, killing somebody, that he is their friend. Uh, they're all still friends and friends with the wife, and they're all sad. It's just a difficult case to deal with, but we're still dealing with the death of somebody uh, based on the actions of somebody else. You just don't expect to see someone die from an accident occurring at five miles per hour from falling off a golf cart. That's what makes it so tragic, and that's what we, we believe uh, makes this not a criminal violation, but just an accident. Now, the defense attorney also says four of the five men pitched in to buy the golf cart as a way to get around their neighborhood easily for what they called man night and used it often. They also says, uh, he also said rather Dembinski's blood alcohol content was the equivalent to only a third of a beer at the time of the crash and that none of the other passengers were drunk at the time of the accident. Now, the Sarpy County judge says she will issue a written decision on the case and could potentially call an additional hearing if it is necessary. Reporting live from the Sarpy County Courthouse, Andrea Flores, KMTV Action 3 News.